Okay, so I guess probably the main question that people are looking to talk about or discuss is these Amazon updates. Now, the reason why this all started, um, just give you a quick sort of history on, on this whole thing. So I think for more than two years now, I've been working on, you know, different things we can do on the Fire Stick, whether that's changing launchers, um, you know, adding USB storage, all these things that can, you know, potentially uh, enhance the experience of the Fire Stick and, you know, hopefully allow us to get more from it. Now, back in the day, changing the launcher was quite a complicated process. It required installing a couple of applications, uh, running a couple of uh, manual ADB commands, but the net result was you could change the home screen and install a third party launcher. I've got so many people joining now, so just do a quick hello, hello, hi, hi, hello. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so so back in the day it was a, a lot more it was a it was a very complicated process and it did require, you know, quite a lot of manual work. Now, fortunately, when I um found the developer Sween Wolf. Uh, we were able to create the launcher manager. Now, as you guys know, with the launcher manager, the process to change the launcher really couldn't be any easier. We're talking about literally just installing one application, launcher manager, starting the application, and with one click, you can now disable the stock launcher and use a custom launcher. Now, that's been working for a long time. Now, during this process, I also released the TDUK update blocker. Now, as you guys know, the simple or the, the one point or the only purpose of that tool was to block updates. Now, probably the first thing you want to know is why would anyone want to block updates? Well, as we've seen today or as we've seen recently, Amazon have the ability to push updates to our devices and these can make you know serious changes. So I, I know people, for example, have been using the update blocker before the new UI came in. So... Lots of people don't even, don't even like the new home screen where you've got those big adverts and you've got that different layout. Many people preferred the previous layout. Now, if you did use the TDUK update blocker, then you could have stayed on the old version or the old home screen and nothing would have changed on your device. And that's really what the main purpose of the update blocker was that you can control when Amazon make any changes to your device. Now, fast forward to today, What's happened now is, as we've seen on AFTV News and people that are running the latest version of the Fire Stick update, they have now blocked Launcher Manager. Now, this doesn't impact everybody, but for the people that do want to use custom launchers, oh, hey Scott, nice to see one of my channel members in here. Now, for the people that do use custom launchers, if you do run the latest update, that, that particular process is now blocked for you. And what that means is you cannot use those custom launchers anymore. Now, again, this doesn't apply to everybody or doesn't affect everybody because if you never use custom launchers in the first place, then this is not really uh, this doesn't really impact you. But for the people, and there are many of you who don't like the stock Amazon home screen, particularly you know with all those adverts, all those you know auto playing videos and that sponsored content, those sponsored applications. If you don't want that on your home screen, the fix was to use a custom launcher. But with this latest update now, that process or that facility has been broken by Amazon, or, or we could say they've stopped that process. And now, the obvious reason why is because obviously when you have the stock launcher, you see adverts and Amazon obviously make money from those adverts. Using a stock launcher means we don't see those adverts and Amazon don't like that. Um, so that's really the reason why I created the update blocker. And now because this update, this latest update, which breaks those custom launchers is slowly being rolled out, which is why I've made some videos now on newer methods that we can still use. Like for example, using AdGuard or the method that was demonstrated by Tanya on the Fire TV Sticks channel, where you can use that DNS uh, block method. So both these processes will essentially block new updates coming to your device. So that's really the purpose of you know these updates and why somebody would want to block it. Now, some of the misconceptions we have here are, for example, you know, are third-party applications broken? So right now, nothing is broken on the third-party side. So even if you do update to the very latest version, hi Sharon. So I have to keep on stopping because I do have to give uh, props to you know when my mods come in. Um, yeah, so right now, even on the very latest version, there's no reports of any third-party applications broken. And to be honest, it, it would be a big 
I think it would be a big mistake for Amazon were to go down that route and to completely lock out our devices because if they're now going to, you know, sing the tune that Amazon devices only official Amazon applications, then I'm sure that I'm sure that, you know, the sales of those devices, I think they would heavily drop because many people do buy these devices to sideload and customize and, you know, use their own applications. And if Amazon were to block that, I think that would be a, a big mistake. The only thing is the reason why, again, somebody would want to block updates is you have that control. So nothing can be sent to your device, nothing can be changed. If some other change comes in the future where something else gets broken, all of that is in your control. So that's why somebody would want to use an update blocker or some process that allows you to block updates. Again, with the caveat that, or the disclaimer that, if you don't care about your home screen, you know, custom launches, you just wanna make sure that you are running the latest, you know, security updates, then 100% keep getting the updates. Amazon can keep making those changes to your device. And because those custom launches are not of concern, it won't really affect you. All right, so that's really my take on these uh, custom launches or blocking these updates that I personally think that us as consumers, you know, I've purchased the device. I went to Amazon, to the Amazon website. I used my own money to buy these Fire Sticks. Really, you know, why are they allowed to control what I do on my device? Um, so that, that's basically my take on it. But I have to keep on adding this disclaimer that I know this doesn't affect everybody. If you are some, no, I'm, this is going to be the last time I say it. If you are somebody that doesn't care about custom launches, then go ahead, get the latest update. You have nothing to worry about. The the slight, you know, odd rumor where, where people are saying that what if they now break third party applications? I mean, that is a rumor and there's no official uh, substantiation of that or no one's got any proof that that's actually happened. So I personally can't see it happening because I think it will be a big dent or, you know, a big, big mistake by Amazon if they block third party applications. I mean, to be fair, this this whole thing about, you know, how come Amazon allowed us to have custom launches for such a long time? One of the comments on AFTV News that he said that the reason why he never covered custom launches on his website is he was actually surprised that they allowed us to uh, you know keep going for such a long time and he really was surprised that they hadn't blocked it before but slowly slowly we can see those doors or those avenues of making those changes have are now slowly being closed by Amazon and just before you go guys if you are looking for a new VPN or maybe if you're not happy with your current VPN IP Vanish who are one of our channel partners are offering a great discount at the moment where you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at just $3.99 a month. So really at that price to get all of that protection across all of your devices at really fast speeds with confirmed zero logging, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. And at the same time, it also helps support my channel. So really appreciate your support. Do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.